Developing tonight, we are waiting for the grand jury decision in the deadly Ferguson, Missouri shooting of Michael Brown. As the small St. Louis suburb prepares, we've learned that groups like CARE may be joining in the protests. Trace Gallagher reports. Trace. Megan, while the FBI is warning that the grand jury decision will likely lead to attacks on police officers and key infrastructure, there are these conference calls organized by CARE, the Council on American Islamic Relations. The calls include about 100 different protest organizers, and those who listened in tell us they serve as both strategy sessions on how to respond to the grand jury decision, and they also stir up resentment against law enforcement. For example, Muslim groups are trying to co opt the Ferguson protest by trying to equate this man, Imam Luqman. Ahmed Abdullah to Michael Brown, saying both were targeted and killed by police. Except federal prosecutors say Abdullah was a separatist intent on overthrowing the government. He was shot and killed by FBI agents in 2009 after he, after he opened fire on them. But to make their point, the executive director of CARE's Michigan chapter told fellow organizers, quoting here, in law enforcement, be it local, state, or federal law enforcement, people with guns have always seen black men and black people as threats. The Washington-based Center for Security Policy says statements like that can prove dangerous to police in cases like Ferguson. He adds that the long-term goal of groups like CARE is to weaken anti-terrorism laws by undermining police authority. Muslim groups maintain they are pushing for only non-protests. Megan. Thank you. We'll be right back.